Peace, everyone. It's Black Eyed Priestess. Uh, something just came to me. I was watching Charles Lawson, and then he was talking about some uh, evidence, um, ed evidence and artifacts and, and testimonies that relate to the scriptures um, and the prophecy. And uh, I realized something. So, well, something I knew initially is that your blood is alive, and one thing being being raised as a, a Jehovah's Witness, even though I'm not one, um, I was taught to not give blood, you know, not do blood transfusions and not give blood. I've always hated going to the doctors. And something the doctors do, which is sometimes necessary, is they take blood to run tests. A lot of times, especially for targeted individuals, they keep blood. They keep your blood and they t keep records of it. They're making clones of some of us, some of celebrities that you see, or people that are put into prominent positions, especially when it has to do with um, icon iconography and globalization of, of these things um, our, our clones um, have been cloned to create certain genetics to to whitewash African genetics and and erase the the original um, look and and view of, of Aboriginal people and to kind of whitewash um, for media purposes those aesthetics genetics and features. What I'm trying to say is something that mages particularly and, and bloodborne witches need to do, especially black people, you need to program your blood and you need to deactivate blood cells that have been given away through the medical field or whatever reason. Some of you have made blood packs. Some of you have done things that you need to deactivate. If you have an active blood pack that you made that is still serving its purpose, of course, hold, you know, um, uphold that. But if you made, if you did something when you were younger, you threw around some, some blood rights, you know, just for entertainment purposes and, you know, um, you, you're not a real mage or bloodborne witch. You were just doing things to, to be cute or to dabble. Um, you need to deactivate your, your blood, um, that has been given away. You need to deactivate blood that has been given away for tests to be run or for medical purposes that were necessary, but no longer serve that purpose. They can still keep some of those samples. Um, Urine is sterile, but blood is alive. So I hope you all understand when I say that you need to deactivate blood and you need to retract any energies or, or do a, a, um, a cord cutting ritual with red cord to cut blood ties with someone who may have been cloned um, with, you know, anything that may have happened esoterically and in an occult um, situation with your blood. It's very important. That's why, it, you know, it's important to be healthy. Being healthy is a, a very symbolic of, of having certain bloodline traits because the medical field uh, creates sickness. And it feeds off the blood of those of us who who have ancient blood lines, and our blood has holds certain power. So, the realization I came to is, while our blood is still living as long as we are alive, our blood is alive. And these are medical terms. As long as you are alive, your blood is alive. And for those of us who are immortal, which means that you don't necessarily die uh, naturally or your soul re can reincarnate in a literal sense.
um, you can reincarnate in different lifetimes or you will not naturally die. That um, death has to come either through murder or an, uh, something unnatural, but it is a not, not a natural occurrence for those who are immortal, which deals with uh, blackness. Um, you need to think about different lifetimes and different uh, blood rites that, that, that may have happened and think about where your bloodline trait may, may tie back to and why they may be targeting your blood or your bloodline. This is directly related to what I'm saying because the realization I came to is that if we're alive, our blood is alive, yet females, we reproduce blood. So for a man... A, a blood for a man. Men reproduce sperm. M women reproduce blood. Which means a woman is born with all the eggs that she will have. Okay. Okay. But she can keep reproducing blood until, so to speak, the menstrual. Okay. Uh, which is so, so to speak. I won't. I don't want to say a symbolic death of the woman of her of her femininity in a way, but that's a different upload. Whereas the man reproduces sperm which means he the man is born with all of the blood that he will have but he reproduces sperm and remember sperm is the beginning of life not the egg not the womb the eggs are not fertilized which means the eggs inside a woman are not living the sperm inside of a man is so life starts with the man not the woman not the egg. Life is inside of the man, not inside the woman. The man has to put life inside the woman. This is why I have spoke about the formula that is imposed of black men and white women and the erasing of black women because there is a chemical, genetic, scientific, ancient formula of life passing through the black womb versus the white womb. And the esoterics behind white supremacy and getting black men to give his living sperm to white supremacy through erasing and segregating black men and black women and forcing black men through brainwashing, through um, media, um, mass media manipulation, through slavery, through um, other other tactics, other systematic tactics that destroy the black family and influence, if not directly force black men, particularly with particular bloodlines or of particular wealth to be with white women and procreate with white women. This is a formula of white supremacy and it is not to take away the um, propaganda of white women or, or black women with white men. But the formula behind that creates black revolution. And this is why black revolution doesn't get anywhere because black men want to create a narrative of, of them being the, 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 the dominators, which in a lot of cases, black men are. And by nature, the black man is. However, that is not the narrative. Black men have, in a lot of ways, collectively gone along with the programming to disrespect the black woman, whether it be through interracial dating, which a, a lot of times is a, about a black man having something to prove. Same thing with white men sometimes. However, through going along with the programming to disrespect natural black women, to see natural black women as unattractive and undesirable and not worth as much. 
um, and along with the programming to disrespect black women through some something like rap, rap, me, rap uh, music, the rap industry and hip hop being taken over and taken from the, the talent of being an African griot, which is an African art form. Griot is an African art form. And the rap and hip hop industry was originally a, taken an African art form that came from African slaves and using to express through this art form um, uh, oppression and culture and survival and, and everything else about our life. And that being taken over by white supremacy in corporate America it became about segregating black women and that started with getting black men to disrespect black women and then to not deal with black women at all. Not going further than just ca calling bitch and hoe and not being um, respectable fathers and community members. But in, in, and, and polygamy is a huge part of it, the promotion of polygamy in the conscious community. The rampant polygamy, getting black men to harem black women, essentially pimp black women. Because a lot of cases, the women are doing all the work and the black man is doing nothing but spreading his seed. So understanding that your blood is alive as long as you are. The effects of your blood and what you do with it are as alive as long as you are, which is why it's very important to some women of power that we don't have children because you don't want to be bound to a human man, some something less than you that. But again, another upload talking more about being a bloodborne witch, but understanding these things, understanding how. A lot of interracial dating is is a, a spell that's being put over uh, otherwise revolutionaries to bind you to white supremacy in the name of solidarity and acceptance and political correctness. If you haven't just directly sold sold out which means accepted money to to um, go against uh, a black revolutionary standpoint and represent something that that will support white supremacy or keep a status quo or soldier soul, which is actually gone through a, a ritual to be part of a secret society that will give you a prominent position as long as you keep sacrificing to it. This realization, um, I, I, I just had, I had, you know, I kind of had to interrupt my, my, my flow, my little routine, because I really had to talk about this and go live about this, because this realization is directly related to a lot of the, so to speak, like research and spiritual research that I've been doing about my bloodline trait and being a, what it means to be a Hebrew Israelite or not, but um, accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior, believing in the prophecy, which, which ties into believing in a sacred ancient bloodline connected to Christ and what it means to be an Israelite and to, to be chosen by the Most High Creator. And how the Old Testament talks about what the chosen people did and did not do to honor that covenant, that bloodline covenant. Which is why I, I talk about the craft being related to biblical scripture and prophecy and uh, which is being part of a coven, which is the root word of covenant dealing with blood, dealing with a connection to the most high. I'm not saying demons and satanic forces and understanding different things in the spirit realm are not tied into being a witch. But my brand is about dismantling some of the negative stereotypes attached to black, whether it be black as an energy, black as a race, black as a color, black as an experience of darkness and shadows.
and what is hidden and eliminating some of that fear that has been instilled in humanity of blackness and reestablishing respect for it and understanding the the wisdom behind it and the power behind it behind black all right peace and love